Today we're going to be talking about anterior pelvic tilt, what that even means, why it's bad for some people, especially those with uh, back pain, sciatic pain, or SI joint pain. And then we're going to talk about three of the most common reasons people have an anterior pelvic tilt and how to start fixing those. And then lastly, there are some people who actually need an anterior pelvic tilt to solve their back pain, and we'll talk about that too. So let's get started. So first of all, what is an anterior pelvic tilt? Well, all it means is that here is the front of the body, all right, and here's the front of the pelvis. And basically what's happening is that pelvis is tilted forward excessively, or there are too many forces trying to tilt it forward excessively. Now, this is especially important for people who have an extension problem at the root of their back pain or sciatic pain or SI joint issues. And if you're not sure if you're one of those people, I've made this video here so you, you can test yourself to see if you have an extension problem. If you do, then come back to this video because this video uh, will help you also solve uh, back pain or sciatic pain or SI joint pain associated with an extension problem. Okay, so we've covered what an anterior pelvic tilt is, which is either excessive tilting of the pelvis forward or too many forces trying to pull it forward. Now, this can happen on both sides of the pelvis equally, or it can happen uh, unilaterally. For instance, you can have one side of your pelvis that's more tilted forward than the other. Why would this be happening? Well, this gets into one of the first causes of an anterior pelvic tilt I wanna talk about is that of tight thigh muscles. So the thigh muscles attach from the knees up into the pelvis here to the very front of that pelvic bone. And so if the thigh muscles are tight, then what they will do is they will exert a force onto that ilium or that side of the pelvis, pulling it forward. And again, the pelvis doesn't actually have to move forward. Just the force of that tightness alone will create the effect of an anterior pelvic tilt on the back or, or SI joint pain or you know, sciatic issues. When you have one thigh muscle that's tighter than the other, that can, again, cause this rotational torque through the pelvis that then creates a side bending and or rotation problem in the spine, also contributing to one side of back pain, sciatic pain, or SI joint pain. Uh, this is especially important for those people with, S with SI joint pain is usually they have an asymmetrical torque acting through the pelvis that's causing a shear force across the SI joint, a, a rotational shear force. And so by, and usually this is coming from at least one of the reasons that this is happening is because of an asymmetrical tightness in the thigh muscles. So how do you solve and test for a tight thigh muscle? Well, if you lie down on uh, a table or a kitchen countertop with uh, both knees to your chest and then lower one leg down, holding on to the other knee to your chest. This is a way to test. Your thigh, your thigh should be able to come all the way down to the surface of that countertop or table while you're holding the other knee to your chest with the knee bent at 90 degrees. And if that can't happen, then likely you have thigh tightness that may be contributing to an anterior pelvic tilt. You can follow the same exercise to actually correct it. Okay, so that's our first reason. Now I'd like to pause here and please ask you to subscribe, like, and please share this video with others with back or sciatic or uh, SI joint pain. This information can help them and then by extension, you can, you can help them. Thank you. Okay, so let's get into the second reason uh, pelvic tilting is occurring, and that is of locking the knees straight or backwards. This is a really common practice because what it does, by locking the knees backwards, we are conserving energy. But what happens is we are turning off critical muscles and causing other muscles to become tight, the thigh muscles being one of those. And uh, this can help break down joint surfaces in our lower body system and, and hips as well. Here's an easy test to see really what the effect of this has. So go ahead and stand up and just lock your knees backwards. And what you'll feel is when you're locking these backwards, you'll feel a tension in your low back and you'll feel a subtle shift of your pelvis to tilting forward. If you unlock your knees, you'll feel that that tension and that shift go away. If you're not sure if that went away, go ahead and lock the knees one more time 
and you will definitely feel that the pelvis is tilting forward and there is more tension in the back. So this is what I mean by an extension problem is that you have excessive arching in the low spine that's contributing to your back pain. And if that's a, an asymmetrical extension in your low spine, then it's contributing to a side bending problem and um, a rotation issue in your spine or rotational torque across your SI joint. If you want to test further to see if something like this is happening in you and you have sciatic pain or SI joint pain, please watch this sciatic pain video I made to uh, dig down more deeply into what I call a side bending pattern and how to solve that. Okay, so the answer to solving the knee locking issue is just to simply unlock your knees. And uh, I've created a taping technique in my home programs to help people do that. But really, if you can just remember to unlock your knees uh, for the next two or three days while you're walking around and standing, then you'll probably feel a very large difference in your back or sciatic or SI joint pain just by unlocking those knees. It really creates a whole host of problems in the whole lower body system, the back and the pelvic system. So let's tackle the third reason anterior pelvic tilts are happening. Well, what's happening is if you have a large belly, that belly is pulling your abdominal area forward, causing the back to arch more. And when the back arches more, the pelvis will tilt forward. And here's an image of a pregnant woman showing this. This is a very common phenomenon with uh, during pregnancy is that as the fetus grows, the belly grows and it gets heavier and heavier, causing the back to arch more and the pelvis to tilt forward anteriorly. And this causes, the, this is the source of a lot of uh, back pain associated with pregnancy. But it's not only pregnancy. It can happen if you're just simply overweight or if you're one of those people who carries a lot of weight in the front of their abdominal area. Or there are people who aren't heavy, but who are just standing with this, their belly just protruding like this, which is causing that anterior pelvic tilt. Now, in this case, there are braces that you can purchase on Amazon, and here's what they look like. And all I did was type in uh, pregnancy back braces into the Amazon uh, search bar, and these kind of came up. And I've got a link for this search in the notes below if you just want to go down there and, and find that pregnancy uh, link to Amazon. Um, there's a whole host of different types of braces, and I would just suggest that you look through them to see what seems to fit your body and situation best. So we've talked about the three causes of anterior pelvic tilt, one being tight thigh muscles, the second being locking the knees, and the third being excessive weight carried in the front of the body, or just a person who overextends their belly, which causes that anterior pelvic tilt. So again, if you're not sure if, you, if this even applies to you, then please watch this video to test to see whether you have an extension problem as the source of your back pain. And then you can also watch this video testing your sciatic issue to see if you have an SI bending problem that's contributing to your back or sciatic pain or SI joint pain for that matter. There are, are those people, and I, I see a few every year, that have a flexion problem as the source of the problem. And so what, what is happening is their pelvis is actually in a posterior pelvic tilt or tilted backwards and they have a flatter spine. And by getting them to learn how to tilt their pelvis forward, it relieves a lot of their back pain. I hope this has helped you understand the role of anterior pelvic tilting in your pain, whether it's bilateral pain or unilateral pain, and perhaps some ways to start fixing that. And if you would like more help, I've got downloadable home programs that help people solve pain from head to toe. And there's a 25% off uh, discount code below in the description here as well as that Amazon link button to the pregnancy back braces if you wanna check those out too.